Hi everyone, Nieves Gomez, CEO of Columbia Basin Health Association. I'm here with John Beecham, one of our providers here at CBHA. And John, we just have a couple quick questions for you and you can help us answer. Uh, first question being 2020. Describe 2020 for us. Uh, what kind of changes did you experience and what motivated you to keep going and seeing patients? Um, actually, it's when COVID first got started, uh, my first reaction was, I think it's time to retire. <laughs> and I came to the boss and said, I think I'm going to end uh, earlier than what I had planned on. And uh, they said, take your time. We got uh, two weeks of, of COVID time that you can take and kind of get your head on straight. I lasted one day and had to come back to work. I couldn't run away and hide because number one, I didn't think this was going to be over with in two weeks. And I couldn't also leave the people I work with still on the front line with me hiding out. And so I came back, got back in the groove of things, lost a lot of my fear. I no longer worried about catching COVID. I knew that we had good protection. I knew that we were following the correct procedures. Uh, and I was as safe here working as I would be out in the community. And that's how. Yeah. I remember you coming over to us and saying, uh, I don't know about this. I don't know about this. And then coming right back and saying, uh, let's get down dirty and let's go to work. And then a lot of change happened, drive up clinics. You know, a lot of change uh, with COVID. And you were the provider particularly who uh, was 100% almost COVID as, as a drive-up clinic, walk-in clinics, a lot of change, a lot of outreach, H2A, H2A workers, a lot of events. As a reminder, we did, you know, just around 65 outreach events for COVID testing. Uh, 13,000 COVID tests later. I don't know if that number surprises you or not. The majority not of, those, of those COVID tests, you know, done by you and your team, uh, who helped you quite a bit. Um, do you have anything to say to, to uh, all the MAs and, and the nurses who helped you uh, manage this crisis during 2020? There, no one person did anything. It, we worked as a team. And mm -hmm. I think that's the reason I had the confidence to come back is because I was not doing this by myself. I was not, it was not any individual reaction. It was the entire team all the MAs, all the other doctors, all the, the, the nurses, the admin, lab, x-ray, everybody just pitched in and got the job done. And uh, I've always liked CBHA. Yeah. I many, had more respect for it. Now, yeah. Now How many years have you been with us? Uh, I, this will be in April, it'll be 14. 14 years and this was 2020 a year like no other and John was 100% you know attention to COVID and rolling sleeves up and getting the job done and this is why John Beecham is our medical provider of the year for 2020 congratulations John I've always wanted to be potty <laughs> yeah and now it's came true so thank you very much we appreciate everything you did outstanding and uh, you know we hope to see you for many many more years just before we came into this conversation, somebody told me, I love that guy. He's one of my providers. And so I said, yeah, you love him or hate him. It's John is John. And he rolls his sleeves up and gets stuff done. So uh, we appreciate you for that great work.